culture is one of those things you know it when you or in, when you experience it and you feel it but it does have some measurable uh results if you will like low turnover um employee productivity mm-hmm. like all those things are sort of measurable but they're a yep. component of that culture what do you think you know if you had to say there's two or three things or maybe one main thing that you as a leader or your leadership team has done to foster that sort of culture in a remote environment what 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 are the sorts of things that keep people yep. on the same page and keep people interested and engaged yeah there's a few things at first I, and i normally don't say this one off the top of my head but i mean right away but i'm going to is just not micromanaging that that's the worst thing i can't i can't even imagine I, every time i hear somebody talk about how they're being managed and they're micromanaged it's insane so we trust the people we work with they they know what they need to get done they get it done we don't care if they do it from you know italy or they do it from Illinois. I mean, as long as they're doing it and when the time they do it. Now, obviously, there's deadlines and we know we have to meet them, but 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 we give flexibility. Um, I, I think one of the most important things we do is we allow the people that work here to be themselves. You know, they're not the R&D tax credit expert. They're the mountain biker. They're not the cost segregation specialist. You know, they're the musician or the artist. And we celebrate everybody's outside of work passions, and and we allow them to bring that to work. In fact, we do on our calls, our team calls, um, we always let somebody have the last 10 minutes to just talk about their their passions. And so we get to know them. Uh, Another thing I do every time we hire a new individual, I call, you know, I call them on teams. They probably, I, I don't ever tell them ahead of time. So they probably like, what the, who? first they might think, who's Randy? Why is he calling me? Yeah. <laughs> and then if they do know me, then there it's more like, why is Randy calling me? But I call just to talk to him, just to get to know him. Nothing about business. It's just, let's just talk about friends, family, passions, whatever. And I think that sets an example of this is who we are. We're not, you know, get your nose to the grindstone and get those hourly billing hours billed in and do this because that's not important to us. So important to us is the people that we work with and everything else will fall on the line. Yeah. And then, and then one last thing, because we are a rote, remote environment, we do get everybody together twice a year. And I'm, let me, at the end of this, I'll tell you something about that, why this is important. Um, but we get everybody together twice a year in different locations. We fly everybody out a huge expense. Um, but you mentioned it before turnover, you know, we don't have turnover. So there's like zero expense to this, um, because, because it helps people, uh, uh, appreciate, uh, the place they work and, and, and be part of it. 